Good afternoon guys, Alan here, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to do the rear brake pad and rotor replacement on the F-150. Um, it is time, the pads are gone and I'm going to upgrade at the same time to the uh, drilled and slotted rotors and without further ado, let's get going. Alright guys, first off uh, I want to do a big shout out to Realtruck.com for hooking me up with this set. Um, this is the Z23 carbon fiber infused ceramic brake pad kit with the drilled and slotted rotors. Realtruck.com has a ton of stuff. They got replacement parts, for instance the uh, brake pads and rotors that I'm using now. They got big brake kits, they got accessories like tonneau covers and all that good stuff. So make sure you go check them out. I will put the link in the description below. So here they are. This is the Z23 set right here. Here are the rear brake pads and the drilled and slotted rotors for the rear. Real nice looking set. Can't wait to get these on. This brake kit that I bought is for a manual parking brake. Uh, they are specific, so make sure if you have an electric parking brake or a manual parking brake that you get the correct part number. The manual parking brake is more. Um, and the electric parking brake, when you replace the pads um, and mess with the caliper, you need to put it the vehicle in maintenance mode. There's tons of YouTube videos on it, um, but I believe you know you throw the key in the ignition, you hold the electric brake switch out and then you turn the car on. I believe that's what does it and then you reverse that to shut it off. So that's how the electric brake works. Mine's a manual brake. I spend a little more. Alright so the first thing you got to do obviously is um, lift your truck up. So I'm using the old-fashioned floor jack uh, with jack stands. So I chalked the front tires. So now I am going to put the jack under it, lift it up, throw the jack stands under it. Remember, always be safe. Here we go. There we go. So let's get started guys. First thing on my wonderful Rockstar wheels, we gotta take off the center caps. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna buzz off the wheel. Sorry guys, I gotta interrupt. Look how big this stinking tire is, man. It's huge. I'm like manhandling it, getting it off of there. I'm really impressed with these tires, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend these guys to anybody. All right guys, take the caliper off, half inch or 13 millimeter will work as well. This one's really tough. Uh, to get a socket on, so I'm going to try my gear wrench. That one was gone. Next, 18 millimeter. All right guys, apologize for the angle, but I've been working at this rotor and never had this problem before, but apparently, I'm gonna have to take the adjuster here for the manual emergency brake and uh, close it so I can slide this off because there's just enough tension where I cannot get this rotor off. All right, so that's what I'm looking for right there. Don't know which way I gotta go, of course.
we don't want that same thing to happen next time. So I'm just gonna put a thin layer of grease back here. Um, I recommend anti-seize, but I don't carry all that fancy stuff. I'm not, I don't have the room for all that. So I'm just putting a real thin layer of grease on here and that will be good enough. Okay, if you guys have ever dealt with drilled and slotted rotors, they are marked which side it is because of the slots. Take our, our old guides. All right, next, so what I did here is I popped the cap on the master cylinder reservoir. That way we can uh, push the fluid back up through the brake line when we, safely, when we compress the caliper. So they make tools for this, but I'm old fashioned. I use a C-clamp and I use the old brake pad. Throw the old brake pad in there like that. Put your seat clamp on there and compress it. All right, caliper is safely compressed. We're gonna put the um, bracket back on. So I usually show you guys something a little fun in every video, or I try to anyway, um, or a pointer or something. Um, and this one is, you know, one stall garage in the summertime. I do my work outside, and uh, one thing that's really helped me out is this uh, mobile cheap little toolbox from Harbor Freight. I mean, it's been amazing. I think with the super coupon, I got it for maybe $119, and uh, it's really nice. Because all I do, you know, it's got my most used tools in it here. And then, of course, the kids put their stuff on the bottom shelf there. But um, And then everything I'm using for the particular job, I keep right here in the top. And uh, I just push it. Now I'm just going to push it to the other side uh, so I can do the other tire. Just figured I'd uh, share that little fun fact with you and how it helps me out. back on all right there you have it <laughs> um if you got a manual parking brake um, definitely don't forget about that adjuster for that uh, for the parking brake inside or else you will fight with that rotor night and day um, so just uh, make sure you remember that and uh, repeat on the other side now all right give me a close-up shot here guys uh, this is what they look like I just broke them in I'll uh, quite the procedure they list on the box but I'll uh, I'll show you guys the box that break-in procedure so inside of the box, right here, it lists the break-in procedure, and it's uh, huh, I, I've never had to do this before. So I went out and did it. I followed the directions. I mean, it's like setting the resin on the brake pads um, for proper wear. So I mean, I'll uh, I'll put this on the screen if you guys want to. You can pause it, but uh. You know, five aggressive decelerations from 40 to 10 uh, without stopping. And then uh, five moderate decelerations from 35 miles an hour to 5 miles an hour without stopping. And then driving for five minutes 
to kind of even everything out and then you let it sit and cool down fully which is fine because I got a while before I got to go to work and then supposedly the resin sets and you're good so either way very interesting um, so as far as the power stop um, brakes the carbon fiber infused ceramic pads and the uh, cross drilled and slotted rotors uh, I can definitely feel the difference because my brake pads are gone um, on the uh, on the inside so um, I could already tell a difference but uh, definitely uh, you know the best bang for your buck in my opinion and like I told you before go to realtruck.com um, again the link is in the description and uh, they will hook you up with uh, a lot of accessories brakes whatever you want um, check their website out and uh, hopefully this video helped you out and if it did make sure you hit that like button and uh, if you like the content subscribe I got something every week so till we meet again guys hopefully your project for your brakes goes um, just as smooth as mine just remember if you got that manual brake adjust those bad boys out on the adjuster <laughs> and uh, you won't have to fight with it so uh, electric brake definitely easier just got to put it in service mode till we meet again guys later